I'm gonna give you the five step framework, okay? This is how you set appointments. This is how you respond to any resistance. This is how you respond to any objection, any objection all the time. If you can master all five steps, you will become a master at reverse selling. Step number one, anytime somebody gives you any resistance or objection, you automatically respond with an agreeable acknowledgement. Always. Brandon, I don't like your haircut. Totally makes sense. I'm with you. Always an agreeable acknowledgement. Number two, and we'll go through this slowly. Number two is a is showing strategic empathy. That sounds like this. You heard me say this with Matt a couple times. Listen, that makes sense. I mean, the market right now, chances are you are gonna sell it on your own. If I was you, I would wanna try to sell the house on my own too. If I was you, I would wanna save on the commission if I could too. That's called strategic empathy. This shows the prospect, wow, this person's not trying to pressure me. They're not trying to argue with me like every other agent's doing. They're actually on my side. Number three is then, this is the most important part I, I see most of you guys screwing up. This is an assumptive, okay, an assumptive statement. This sounds like this. So Sheila, why don't we do this? I'll simply stop by one day next week. That's all super assumptive language pattern. Okay, I'm not asking the permission. This is Matt Sousey, when you use your, when you get with your role play partner, this is what you wanna focus on, okay? So step three is an assumptive uh, statement. Let's do this. I'll stop by one day next week. Take a quick look at the house, which then gets us into step number four, which is the value statement, which is the value statement. So, so when you get off of step three, the value statement is, Estevan, when I'm there, I'll show you some numbers, okay? I'll break down exactly how my for sale by owner plan works so that you get the property sold, get the money that you need, and then we get right into step five, which is gaining agreement by giving the illusion of control. Step five is gaining agreement by giving the illusion of control. So let's go through it slowly, okay? So uh, Stevan says, um, whatever he says, okay? It doesn't matter if it's an objection or, or hey, we're not, we're not interested in selling or we're not interested in meeting with an agent right now. Any type of resistance, I'm not selling my house right now, now is not a good time, doesn't matter. Step number one, listen, I totally understand. Step number two, if I was you in this market, Esteban, I'd also be trying to sell my house uh, by myself because chances are you will. Step number three, why don't we do this? Let's not agree to anything right now. I'll stop by the home one day next week, take a look around. Step four, I'll share with you how my program works. I'll break down all the numbers. Step five, and then Esteban, you can decide if working with me now makes sense or not. Fair enough? Now, that's all five steps. If you can kind of work on one step at a time, you'll be able to put the whole thing together.